finally make it to the place that earned Uganda the title, the Pearl of Africa. The drive sees us leave the beautiful town of Fort Portal on the eastern slopes of the Ruanzori Mountains, also known as the Mountains of the Moon, and head into the Albertine Rift Valley to Queen Elizabeth National Park. A phrase that has become quite popular with people who join me is, and I quote, it's never a dull moment in a Land Rover expedition. Well, on this episode, Queen Elizabeth National Park brings out the best of this phrase, with elephants scaring the out of us in the night, to the boat failing in hippo-infested yeah. waters, and elephants, elephants, elephants everywhere. We sure did had an exciting trip. Stay tuned to see it all, and remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons. I'm aiming for a thousand subs by the end of the year. Help me get there. Enjoy. These are the seeds that we use in uh, some of the musical instruments like oh, so calabashi, yeah, the rattles, and all that. So these ones are white in color and they are still fresh. Oh yeah, these ones are not uh, white.
现在是在有老师，有。about to cross the equator from north going south what an amazing thing and the DRC is just on the other side hey guys we are, we are at the equator along the road from Kasese to Queen Elizabeth National Park. Um, we're actually on the outskirts of the park and we go in that direction across those hills which are obscured by the trees you'll be going towards uh, the DRC so we're very close to, to Congo which <coughs> I think it's exciting to have made it this far all the way from Nairobi so we are gonna head to the campsite in a little while go pitch and it also looks like uh, it's been raining or it's about to rain or it's gonna rain looks like it will rain so we need to get that done quite quickly also on this direction is uh, Lake George which we saw when we were coming in but we didn't get a good view of it uh, lots of vegetation covering the, the scenes so excited to see what uh, this park has to offer already I can see a butler flying up there it's gonna be a great start
So as you can see, there is an elephant at the entrance to the lodge. This is Thomas. He's one of my friends and his tent is just there. These guys are the three elephants that are just within a few meters from where we are. I mean, look at how close he is. He doesn't seem to be so bothered with our presence. Just eating the fence and anything else that he can put his trunk around. Uh, right now it is uh, 11 or 5 p.m. I don't know if we are going to be able to sleep. Has anyone ever been attacked here by him? Uh, yeah, some people, especially the drunkards. The drunkards. <laughs> How far do they go to Great? Uh, they can no even move for no volume. 10 kilometers. Ah. 10 kilometers so like now they are camping, they can eat it just Yeah, they can, they, 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 yeah, they can Yeah, they are. Let's go to the lake. So, if no, you can go that side. <laughs> we go <laughs> so do you want to come here? Yeah. I change with you so that you can take yeah. better photos. Yeah, yeah. This 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 is distance. Distance. Oh yeah, they come huge distance. <laughs> no, no, this, this is our uh, family. This is our product. Do they have bigger numbers than you? Oh, yeah, we have this uh, very big spools. Okay, very good over here. Yeah, hippos also live in families. Not too long. Uh, cold schools. Yeah. You are aware of that? Yes. They, mm -hmm. they live in families called schools. Schools. Yeah. Oh, schools. Yeah. Like There's one here. Yeah. 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 yeah, so a that one is hippos. We Probably the male. Even fish. Even fish. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, they say the reason why fish are the brightest is because they spend all their time in school. They spend all their time in school. The time in school of fish. And a parliament of? Monkeys! Baboon. That's why we have MPs in pa? In Baboon. parliament. MPs. <laughs> Are someone taking a nice photo of those pigs? Yeah, they are huge. Yeah, yeah, that thing is huge. That thing goes to how many weeks? Two tons. Yeah, two to three tons. We are at the Kazinga Channel. That direction is uh, Lake Edward, and uh, on the other side is Lake George. <coughs> so uh, the team here with uh, Mwega. Hello, guys. Hi. Karori, who uh, may not qualify. To... <laughs> don't, don't worry, I qualify. That's <laughs> up there. Is the press? And then the rest of the crew. In the, in the boat there enjoy so far we have seen several water birds there are some buffalo in the distance there peoples crocodiles you name it we've seen it I'll come and use it so the water is flowing towards Lake Edward and coming from Lake George going towards Lake Edward. Right now we're in the Rift Valley Basin, the Albertine Rift Valley, so that's the western arm of the Great Rift Valley system. It's just spectacular being in this landscape, being able to see what Uganda has to offer. And so far it has not disappointed. Did you see the elephants that come? Yeah, we did, we did. The grey elephants. Yeah, very, very huge. They look like rocks actually. Yeah, you think yeah, they are rocks. Think rocks. And something I've not seen is the giraffe, which is quite unusual. Yeah. Most times you're driving through Kenya, you see giraffe even on the side of the road. Yeah. And you're the highway. Yeah. <laughs> mm. so. A few moments later. Looks like uh, we've lost uh, one engine. 
Now they are my uh, Never a dull moment in an experience. <laughs> Even the brook, <laughs> even the boat. To my little to in a everywhere we go. something So Karori, what's going on? Just talk, talk to us. Talk to us on uh, Explorer TV. <laughs> Okay, uh, the engine is refusing to take to the oil, so like that's that's why the engine is not starting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, there, there, there are two engines, which one? Uh, both of them. Uh, but it seems that only so, in other words, Japanese uh, engines also fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. Japanese engines. Well, you've heard it from Karori himself. <laughs> <laughs> we are Best explanation in the waiting world. for. The engine to be yeah, yeah. sorted, maybe it will, maybe it won't, but uh, by the time we, <laughs> and uh, just as uh, Doc had mentioned, this could end up being our four hour boat ride, and well, true enough, it is, prayers come true. One eternity later. That is crazy. <laughs> Elephants where we have packed. I have two of them. One there. Yeah, yeah, they are no. just loitering and there are people. You saw those two guys who took off. Yeah, they all do yeah, the on the road. Yeah, on the other side on the road. <laughs> what? Yeah, the one on top. So we, so we just came from the Kizinga channel. You can see there was a fishing village there. Small children play in the water. Moments ago, a giant walked through here, and there's another giant literally just meters away, eating the reeds and seems to be unbothered by our presence and those of the boats. People are just watching. It's just a normal day in uh, Kizinga Channel. Here in Queen Elizabeth National Park.